So Jerry was the victim of domestic violence. She was falsely arrested for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, a felony, looking at up to five years in prison. She hired us the day she got out of jail. We had the case dismissed in less than a month during the state attorney's pre-file phase. She's doing awesome, and we're so happy to get this case dismissed for her immediately. I'm Adam Rossin with the Rossin Law Firm. We're gonna to talk to you today about another great case result that we had for our client, Jerry. Now, she came to us uh, as a fairly new resident of the state of Florida. Her and her husband moved down here. They uh, have been having trouble for years and years. Unfortunately, her husband has some substance abuse issues, some mental health issues, and some serious anger issues. And they got into it one night um, and she grabbed a knife to defend herself and said to him, if you don't get away from me, I'm going to stab you. And he didn't get away from her. He continued to try to attack her and she lunged at him and tried to stab him. Uh, a neighbor heard the commotion, called the police, the police came and Jerry spoke to the police and she said exactly what happened. She said that she was legally defending herself under Florida's standard ground law. Um, you know, that he had been violent with her in the past. And unfortunately, the police made the wrong move and they arrested her for a serious felony, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. She was looking at up to five years in prison for this. And Jerry had never been in trouble before, never been arrested before. She was actually um, quite successful and they moved down here to, for some new opportunities. And all of a sudden, her mugshot is plastered all over the internet. She spends a day in jail and has to bond out. Because it's domestic related, she couldn't even go home and couldn't even go to the house. She had to rent a hotel and live somewhere else. She had no friends and no family here. So luckily she found us. And when I met with her the very first day as we're talking and trying to get to know her, she explains to me that there had been this pattern of abuse for over 10 years with her husband and that he's very unstable. Um, because of mental health issues and because of serious substance abuse issues. And she always tried to make it work for their small son. You know, they have a young son together and she just, she felt like she couldn't leave. She felt like she was trapped. Every time she tried to leave, he brought her back in and, and there was this pattern. So she hired us, I think the day she got out of jail. And on a case like this, the prosecutors have not filed formal criminal charges yet. So she had been arrested for a very serious felony, but she had not been charged. She hadn't gone to court. There is not a, um, a criminal case yet that we have to defend for six months or a year. And this is what we call the pre-filing stage. So usually it's about a 30 to 40 day window where the prosecutors are gonna review the evidence, review the case, review body-worn cameras or whatever there is, listen to criminal defense attorneys, and they're gonna make a decision on, do they charge her with the same crimes she was arrested for? Do they increase the charges, maybe on something like this to attempted murder? Do they reduce it to a misdemeanor? Or do they dismiss the case outright? And we have a lot of cases that we get hired you know, immediately, right? Within a one to maybe five days after someone is arrested. So on this type of case, our strategy was to get in early to reach out to the prosecutors and give them the entire picture and let them know not only did the police officers make a mistake that night, but there's years and years of documented history of violence and abuse from the alleged victim in this case towards our client who was arrested. In talking with our client, she told us that there was another domestic incident back in Alaska where they used to live, where she was the victim. And what happened was she actually moved out, she received services at a domestic violence shelter, and we, we got a letter from the executive who runs the domestic violence shelter to state that years ago, she was there multiple times with her son, multiple days to get away from the violence of her husband. So we put that in our package, we compiled that. We actually pulled the 911 tape where you can hear uh, kind of screaming and yelling from the house and you can hear the neighbor saying, hey, you know, I, I hear a man screaming at a woman, okay, uh, which 
most people don't realize that the police don't listen to the dispatch. That's a civilian dispatch person who doesn't really communicate all of the finer points and details to the police. They basically just say, hey, there's a domestic going on, go over there and figure it out. So the police investigators on scene never spoke to the neighbor. They never listened to the actual 911 audio before they decided to make an arrest. And it was also very telling what this husband did in the days and weeks after his wife was arrested. He continued to send her threatening text messages. He continued to look for her and he actually showed up to the hotel where she was staying. He figured it out and she had to call the police numerous times to get him off of that property. So it was terrifying for Jerry, for our client, but in a way it was kind of a good thing, right? So obviously, of course, as long as she's safe and secure, but it was good because we were able to use his own actions and behavior against him, right? In, you know, a week later, two days later, he's running amok, he's being violent and threatening, you know, as long as she's safe, I say good, because we can just take that evidence and present it to the prosecutors as part of our packet, which is exactly what we did. Long story short, after about three weeks, we convinced the prosecution to dismiss all charges. So Jerry never had to go to court one time, Luckily, neither did we. We didn't have to fight this case for a year. We were able to get this case dismissed very fast, very quickly. We're actually in the process of expunging Jerry's record, so it won't be there in public records. People won't be able to read the police reports. When a background check is done on her, the person running the background check or the company won't be able to find it and automatically exclude her because, you know, unfortunately, in today's day and age, no employer is going to say, hey, you got arrested for a serious felony for trying to stab your husband, but were you falsely arrested? Tell me about that. They're just going to say, no, thank you. Move on to the next, you know, potential, potential employee. Um, so we were very, very, very happy. Jerry was very happy. Jerry has since filed for divorce. She has temporary custody, sole custody of her child. She's safe. She's protected. And her husband has moved back to Alaska. So great outcome with in in all aspects of jerry's life hopefully the family along the divorce case goes and finishes according to plan that's not something we do so she has another attorney for that obviously we handle all types of criminal and dui defense cases if you have any questions at all anything we can ever do we love helping good people when bad things happen that's what we do you can call us at 754-206-6200